Family will soon see improvement around the area thanks to major grants that have been awarded. Five upstate cities are among ten around the state that get this money to positively promote the quality of life in their community. Seven News reporter Nicole Ford has the story of one of our city's creative economic development projects. Pickens, it's the place where the mountains begin. The lakes and the mountains and the views, and uh, we're just sitting in the center of it. Um, not every town has that. So why not use what you already have to promote economic growth? So this section of our store is actually what brought us to open the store initially. Um, we were big on fly fishing. Now with the increase in use of the doodle trail in pushing outdoor tourism, how do you get the people from there to downtown to experience places like Southern Appalachian outdoors? On our main street already, we have turtles on the town, uh, which are these little bronze turtles, uh, strategically placed all through Main Street in front of local businesses. So I thought we could play in on that, uh, expand what we already have to take the turtles from the Doodle Trailhead and link up with what we have on Main Street. With the help of a new $20,000 grant to promote quality of life, that's exactly what will happen. One portion of that grant money will be spent right here, building a mural of the past and present of Pickens to show people why they should head downtown. And we love it because, of course, we get to see more people in here. And they aren't alone. Four other upstate cities, including Anderson, Belton, Spartanburg, and Landrum, all received the same grant to promote their communities with a quality life project. I think it, it's just going to be an amazing feature that will really um, be the catalyst for the change I think we'll see here in Pickens. In Pickens, Nicole Ford, 7 News. Yeah, you heard Nicole, or I'm sorry, Nicole mention the four other cities that are getting these projects. And of course, if you want to read a lot more about how they're going to use their grant money, head to our website this weekend, WSPA.com.